Okay, let's just go over some of the really big macro movements of the downswing and it all involves the spine and we'll fit in all what the arms are doing and all that later. But for now, what we got to understand is this is a complex movement in three different planes of motion or actually it's even more. But basically you're, you're trying to do a rotation first. So kind of do your best Garrigus move. Yeah, good. So we're rotated first. Second, we're going to side bend. So we want to feel like we're doing this, right? Go ahead, come into side bend. And then at the end of the downswing, or actually from right about, right about from there, is we're actually starting to move into spine extension. So go ahead and extend to the end of the swing. So basically, all these moves are happening in a third of the second or less. So go ahead, maybe take a, take a nice smooth, just do a nice slow swing. But it's rotation, side bending, and then lastly, spine extension. Right, so if we're missing one of these movements, then we're going to lose something in terms of hitting the ball with more, you know, with power. We'll have less power, right? So let's say, let's say somebody is not rotating. Go ahead and do a swing where you're not rotating, right? Again, sometimes people are holding the chest back and letting the arm drop. Now what are you going to do for there? You're going to just hit it like, like this with a fast, you know, arm pulling or whatever or are you going to actually be able to even get your speed into the swing second if there's no lateral bending or side bending right so go to the uh, go to the top and we're gonna we're gonna come down to impact with no side bending our shoulders will be much more level right it looks like we're standing up but we're only moving everything from the uh obliques or the abs and above right because the shoulders the shoulders will move the arms will move trunk might move or the or the uh, thoracic the rib cage will move but then it's not going to allow you to move your legs so go ahead do that one more time go right through to the follow through right yeah so it looks like a golf swing somewhat but then it's not connecting to the lower body and then let's do the last one if we don't have extension at the end or spine extension to the end then we start looking like a bit of a like a turtle move and the upper body goes forward. Yeah, it's kind of like I call it the old man swing because people, if, they, if they've been swinging like this for 40 years and they try to hit a ball, that's kind of what's going to happen. Their spine is so locked up, they don't have any flexibility, nor do they know that they need to have this flexibility in these three different dimensions here.